China's Communist Party has removed term limits for their president, enabling Xi Jinping to be president for life, with their premier demanding the total loyalty of Communist Party members to what is effectively their new emperor. This follows a year where the Chinese government has been ramping up efforts to suppress the Christian religion, demolishing churches and arresting pastors, with Xi Jinping himself requiring that all Communist Party members profess atheism. It's a pattern we observe throughout history, where repression of Christianity goes hand in hand with tyranny, because tyranny rightly recognizes Christianity as its natural enemy. Will Christian laity again be persecuted by the Chinese government, as they had been through the reign of Chairman Mao, and be tortured and killed as members of the Falun Gong faith had been in the last decade? Sadly, history provides us with little reason to believe otherwise. And here sit you, self-satisfied, pander to internet atheist, cozy in your first world push-button existence, thinking you're so edgy and rebellious for adopting what has been the official position of the most repressive, free speech stifling, individuality crushing regimes the world has ever known. You know nothing about history, and yet feel completely qualified to offer sweeping pronouncements about what mankind needs for its next stage of evolution. You happily recite the historical canard that religion stands in the way of scientific and technological progress, which is a piece of propaganda the Soviet Union used to justify the slaughter of hundreds of thousands of religious believers and clerics. You have been issued a set of stock expressions from Invisible Sky Fairy to Bronze Age Goat Herders with which you can dismiss the bulwark against totalitarianism that is Christianity. You profess to believe in science, which taken on its face means jack shit, but which allows you to feel superior to Christians while demanding nothing of you beyond your blind allegiance to the dogma of materialism. When you recite these slogans, you are a useful idiot. The question is, whose useful idiot are you?